I'm going to show you how a couple different ways how to put a railing with a newel post start on a second thread. Okay, so we're going to do some exterior stairs for this, which means I'm going to draw my staircase down. Do that. That's an alternate draw mode. So we choose the staircase tool first up. Okay, and then alternate draw mode means we're either right clicking on a mouse and clicking and dragging to draw out those stairs, or we're left. Excuse me or we're left clicking and holding Alt as a modifier, um, unless you somehow modified what your alternate behavior is. We go into the edit menu and we take a look at edit behaviors. Here we go. This is actually gonna point out exactly what that button might be for you. So um, that's in our edit menu, edit behaviors, and we can see that that's that alternate mode. So here we go. I've got, oh, that was a click stairs. Let me just click and draw this out. All right, that's gonna automatically meet the stair below. And then what I wanna do next is I wanna select the staircase. There's a couple different ways you, you're gonna, you could do this, but I wanna just select the staircase and in my edit menu, add a break and then complete break, okay? And then I'll just kinda hover over this first tread and I'm gonna add a break here. There we go. Now what happened is we have two separate staircase sections. Now. Okay, and they're both selectable. Now, if you tried to just open this up from here, what's gonna happen is we're gonna open up, well, not only section number one, but also section number two, even though the preview just shows us section number one. So any modification we do in these dialog boxes is happening to both sections. But if instead you shift click, and you could do this either in 2D or you could do this in 3D. So I'm gonna click and then shift click. See that bounding box surrounding this section? That means I am just modifying just that section. See, there's only one section number here. And so what I could do here is just come into our railing panel and say that there's no railings, right? So that's gonna force that build up to that second tread. And we could do the same thing, shift click that second section, and maybe we wanna modify what that newel post looks like. So a couple things we could do with this is we can mess around with our bottom offset, that's in the Newell's balusters panel. So bottom offset, and this can be a negative value. So I could say something like negative 200 inches and watch what happens. That staircase, those Newell posts just go down 200 inches. Now if we check clipped, that's gonna clip that to whatever uh, we're referencing, in this case, the terrain. So that's clipping this to the terrain. So if we don't have an intermediate uh, Newell post, you can just change that spacing to something outside of uh, the range of, of what the length of that staircase is so that you're just modifying the offset just for this uh, newel post here. So a couple different things you can do here. Now let's just turn off this railing on either side and I wanna go through a second method, which is that we're just gonna use a railing. So I'm gonna draw in a railing. I'm gonna use the railing tool. I'll click in a 2D plan here that railing and just draw this in. Now, I'm drawing alongside of the stairs. I actually wanna draw kind of on top of the stairs in this case. And you can see what happened here in 3D view. It's just kind of floating up there. But well, we're gonna to have to open this railing up and in the rail style panel down at the bottom in the lower section here, build from is we're gonna choose follow stairs. And it, nothing's really gonna happen in your dialog box here, but if we press okay, we can see this is in fact, even though the bounding box shows kind of a linear staircase, um, no diagonal things happening here, we can see that this railing did in fact follow the stairs, right? So our newel post is placed. And so we can come in here, tab in here and kind of mess around. If you are not drawing your rails in 3D, but you're drawing your newels in 3D, you could just hover over one of these newels and just tab into it and be able to offset this newel left to right if you want, forward and back if you want. So a couple different things you could do there just in a 2D plan view or the 3D view, which is just using that move newel tool, which is this guy that's new to X16, right? So one of the things I wanna do on this railing is I wanna eliminate that bottom rail. So in our rail style panel, I'm going to uncheck include bottom rail. And then this is a really great designation delineation, raise lower. We can either raise or lower our bottom rail. And so what I wanna do is I wanna actually lower this. Okay? And what that's gonna do is actually gonna force, because we don't have a bottom rail, just going to force our balusters lower, okay? So I could say 
negative five inches and just press OK. And you're going to see that it's going to push those balusters down. Now, not a perfect solution. Of course, sometimes you might have to get away from this kind of automatic railing setup and manually place something in like a cross section view. But for the most part, this will handle a lot of situations for you, especially when you need to just move that newel. Now, I could just drag this in a 3D view, and as I'm starting to drag this, hit tab or enter. If polar's checked, it's going to pick up which angle I was dragging it and say that I wanted to just move this two inches in the direction I was dragging it. There we go. Move that newel a couple inches off that uh, end of that tread nose. Now, hopefully this helped you out.